So before we go too far into the characters that we find manifesting in the last days, okay, let's actually look at the phenomenon of the terrible times, okay, that have been described to be taking place in the last days, okay? They will be a phenomenal reality in the last days. We're living in those times now, okay? He wanted us to understand and realize this, observe it, and be personally acquainted with this reality and come to know it because that is what's going on in our lives today, okay? So no, you're not imagining it. Life is getting harder. It's getting worse. We know that the prophet told us so the prophet told us, be prompt in doing good before you are overtaken by turbulence, which would be like the dark parts of a night. Okay, so when we look at that word, zalama, in comparison to what we find in the Bible about these difficult times, okay, we find a cohesion and we find a harmony. Okay, that word zalama literally means to do wrong or to do evil, to treat unjustly, to oppress, suppress, tyrannize, misuse, injure, also to be dark or to be obscure. What's making it obscure? All of the wickedness that will be taking place at that particular time. Okay, so thick darkness, okay, of different kinds. Okay, we have all manners of wickedness and vice moving around in our space. Okay, that we have to deal with as a manifestation of these what last and evil days. Okay, afflictions and hardships, dangers, both spiritual and physical. Okay, moral and physical. And so, these moral and physical atrocities and dangers and hardships and afflictions signifies that sins and evil deeds don't stand alone but like we know they grow and multiply okay and they increase in their intensity and this is what we find in the birth pains of the last days things are waxing more and more wicked as we approach the climax okay we know that the manifestation of the messiah is coming in a cloud the people are not going to be able to see it clearly why because of the hardships of the day he told us that in this particular time frame, a person would be a believer in the morning and an unbeliever in the evening. What is he talking about? He's talking about hypocrisy. People are going to be saying something, but they're not going to be doing that. Just like what he tells us in 2 Timothy. He said they're going to hold to a form of godliness, but they will deny the power. They will completely reject and be in contradiction to the truth that they proclaim. This is important. And the scripture also tells us in the Hadith that this will continue on until people are divided into two camps, okay? One in which there is no hypocrisy and the other in which there is no faith. I never leave that house without that automatic I put that money over 